this side of the studio with our safety glasses. I know. Of course. I feel like I look like a ninth grade tech teacher today. <laughs> but it's quite warm and toasty over here because our good friend, the glass blower, is back from Corning Museum of Glass. Yeah, of course. We are joined with Eric Goldschmidt today. <laughs> Every time you come in, you've been here a few times. You're always busy making something from scratch out of glass with uh, with a pretty impressive setup. So give me a rundown of what's happening right now. Well, this is a, a process known as flame working. Just one of many processes for uh, working with molten glass. So I've got a torch running on uh, propane and oxygen. If I crank it all the way up, the temperature gets up around 5,000 Fahrenheit. We're maybe a little bit below that at the moment. Feels like 10,000 to me. Uh, it's pretty warm if you're not so used we to were, it. We were joking about roasting marshmallows on this. That's that's not a possibility. Uh, it's a possibility. They <laughs> just like roast really very roasted. quickly. Yeah. <laughs> no, no toasting our morning bagels on this flame. <laughs> Is there a difference yes. between we're, sometimes we say glass blowing? Is there a difference between glass blowing and flame working? There is. Okay. Uh, traditional furnace style glass blowing, which we also do quite a bit of at the museum uh, involves a, a large furnace full of molten glass, almost like a, a big bathtub full of molten glass, which mm -hmm. would be tough to, uh, to bring into the studio here. So <laughs> flame working is a, a little better for, for our traveling purposes. And what are yep. you making today? Last time you were on, I do believe you made a snowman That's or a good. candy dish, one of the two. Yeah. Uh, well, at the moment, I'm working on a pumpkin. So I just added the stem. We're going to add some leaves on here as it is uh, the fall season. This is a, a pretty popular item for us around the museum. And did I hear that you have the largest glass pumpkin in the world? Uh, we do. We have a, <laughs> a couple of hand-blown pumpkins made by our hot glass show team and uh, they're both around 70 pounds and 36 inches in diameter. They're massive. So a great photo op for our, our guests when they come through. And uh, we have quite a bit going on at the museum this weekend. Yeah, give us a rundown of what's happening because I know that there's some pretty exciting news and uh, events happening. Yeah, absolutely. Well, with uh, this being Veterans Day weekend, we have some activities for our, uh, our veterans. Uh, on Monday and Tuesday, they can come by with their ID and have free admission to the museum. And uh, anybody with the veterans will also get a 15% discount on their admission. And that's in addition to kids and teens, 19 and under, always being free at the Corning Museum of Glass. Awesome. So uh, good discounts. And also on Saturday, uh, if veterans want to sign up and have a glass blowing experience, they can go on our website, cmog.org, and sign up for a free one hour glass blowing class where they'll actually learn to, uh, to work the glass themselves. Is that all? It must take more than an hour to learn to do what you do. Uh, it takes many years to a really lifetime. become proficient, but uh, we're going to give lots of guidance and uh, keep the, the lessons reasonable for people to uh, have some success in uh, an hour long class. And I, it does yeah. go without stating, but I always, I always say when we're doing that, this is not something that you could don't do at home. At please, all. please don't try to do Just any flame Just hop on the freeway. Go to Corning. All right, yeah. Eric, we're going to keep checking back in with you to the show to see how our pumpkin is coming along over in this corner. Right, Corning Museum of Glass, catch me up to speed at what's happening with the pumpkin. Well, we've got our, all of our leaves on there, so I'm just removing this little handle here. We'll finish off the bottom and uh, set it out on the table, and it's done. Now, I heard that people that are interested, they're seeing this happening, they also can make a pumpkin through a different process, though. Uh, that is correct. At the Corning Museum of Glass, we have a make-your-own-glass workshop. And uh, our daily guests can sign up for uh, an opportunity for all sorts of different types of glass making. Uh, and they can make a pumpkin with us uh, right up into uh, the last weekend of Thanksgiving. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us today, Eric. And of course, thank you.